Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the Blake of Spirit channel. If I seem a bit tired, it's because this is actually the fifth time I'm recording this. Yes, fifth. Because because this whole like webcam thing, I'm having issues with it whilst my phone's getting fixed. So hopefully I get that phone back because this is killing me. But I hope you're having a good start to 2024. Today, we're going to be looking at boxing. I haven't done boxing in a while, actually. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done boxing. I've been doing my karate combat stuff. But uh, today, I'm going to be talking about Devin the Dream Haney. What's next for him in 2024? And why I pinpoint it on him is because, for me, he, he's the boxer I'm most interested in at the moment. Like, he had a fantastic year last year. I was really, really close to making him my fighter of the year, not just in boxing, but in combat sports. Um, because obviously he beat Vasily Lomachenko to remain undisputed at 135 pounds. But then he also uh, went up weight class and beat Regis Brograde to win the WBC super lightweight world title at 140 pounds. And he didn't just beat Regis Brograde, he obliterated him. Not like physically, although he did knock him down and he wobbled him a couple of times after. But just the boxing was, his boxing was on, on another level that night. It was so good, so crisp. Um, yeah, really talented guy. And to be able to do what he's done, and he's, I think he's 25. So that's four thats four years older than me. So I'm 21. When I'm 25, I hope, I hope to be doing something similar to what he's doing because that is just absolutely mental to me. Um, but yeah, what is next for the dream? Well, Devon and Bill Haney. Yes, Bill Haney, his, his father. Well, actually, before we go into the boxing, uh, they've been dancing at the nightclub recently. Take a look at this. Now, back to the actual boxing. Devin and Bill Haney, they're a boxing trainer and fighter duo. I don't think they're ever going to professionally split apart because obviously they're going to get on, obviously, because they're father and son. Um, but And they've been chatting a lot and lot of shit. With Javante Tank Davis trying it, saying, "Oh, you know, we've offered you a contract, but you want too much money, and you're ducking us, and blah 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 blah." It's just going on and on and on, and you know, it's just, it's just a part of it now. I'm numb to it now, to be honest. I don't tr trust any th any fight or anything until I actually see it. So, um, so it could happen. It may not. Who, who cares? But if it if it does, I mean, to me, that would be a massive massive fight and i actually think apart from some big heavyweight fights obviously uh fury u6 massive but apart from some others to me that would be the that would be the biggest fight in boxing in 2024 i'm just one of the biggest fights in general in 2024 um they're both so talented so technical they're just undefeated world class run out of words you get what i'm saying they're just too unbelievable and the fact that they're also both, um, they carry around themselves like they're stars, you know what I mean? Like, they've got, like, the hair, the jewellery, the fashion, you know, friends with celebs, all of that kind of stuff. So, I just think with a marketing-wise, PBC or DAZN, whoever, they could just do so much of that. And they could make a shed load of money just on the just on the pay-per-view and everything, on, on, on and sponsorships on its own. So... I think that it to me that is a fight I really want to see most in 2024. Devin Haney versus Javante Tank Davis, um, and especially now, like obviously Tank had that uh, brilliant performance against Ryan Garcia when that was a star-making performance. And actually, I know I'm going on a little bit of a tangent here, but Davis versus Garcia to me that is what a big boxing fight event should be. That is what they should be. It's the way it was promoted. I can't really put it into words, but just the, the feeling I had on fight week, and the build up, and the promotion to it, and everything, it was it was it was just great. It was so well done. Um, and ever since then, uh, Tank obviously has become a, a superstar. And Devin Haney, um, I feel like he hasn't really had that up until the Regis Progress fight. I feel like that Regis Progress Progress fight and the way he beat him. Uh, I think that really, that made him a superstar. And people are now like, oh, Devin Haney, Devin the Dream Haney. Oh yeah, he's legit. He's 25, um, two-way world champion, all of that stuff. So I think uh, he's now a superstar. I think they're both big enough to do that fight. Uh, but obviously both in their both in their primes. And uh, and yeah, I just, oh, it'd just be good, wouldn't it? It'd just be good. So 
Haney versus Tank. That's the fight I want to see most. Now, two things. What weight would it be at? Because obviously Haney's at 140 pounds, and he's like, ain't no way in hell I'm going down to 135, because I was killing myself to get down there. So Tank, if you're going to want to fight me, then you're going to have to come up. And then Tank's like, uh-uh, rehydration course. I don't know why, but in most of Tank's big fights, they always seem to be in re with rehydration clauses. Um, I don't know if that's something coming from him or his coach, Calvin Ford, or someone from his management, Al Heyman. But obviously, someone's really worried about the cash cow that he is. And they're just worried about his height. But I'm just like, and sure, Jordy said this, and I agree with him. Like, surely you want to beat your opponent 100%, because then you can say, I beat you at, your, at 100%. Because now anyone that has lost to him in a big fight who are dehydrated, they could just say, wait, we didn't fight me on the best though because I was dehydrated. You know, so it's like, it, it's just weird. But you've proven that you are harder hit and you're one of the biggest punches in boxing. But anyway, that's just me. Um, so yeah, what weight would it be at? Um, they're probably going to have to meet somewhere in the middle, like a catch weight. But also, another thing, where is this fight going to take place? You know, there's a new there's a new gun on the market in Saudi Arabia for boxing venues, and you know, obviously they've got loads of money over there. And I f I generally think this fight is more likely to happen in Saudi Arabia now than in Las Vegas, which is mental. If you told me that a couple of years ago, I'd be like, "What? You, you sure?" Like, but it's just how quickly the landscape in boxing has changed now because they're just offering so much money, and it's not just that they're offering loads of money as well. You know, I think Devin Haney hit, um, I'm not, I mean, Tank, I think Tank said he's just, he does boxing a, a lot for the money. I didn't really give a shit about the belt, which I actually like, I, I like that honestly. I don't think that fighters don't be that honest enough. But, um, but I think Devin Haney personally, I think for him, he'd actually want to go over in Saudi Arabia. Being a very proud Muslim that he is, I think him boxing in Saudi Arabia in front of a majority like Muslim audience in a country that is Muslim, you know, I think I, th I just think that would mean a lot to him. Um, and uh, and that ever since he beat Regis, I don't know why, but before Regis Progre, there was this thing with Devin Haney where he was like, he wasn't really loved by like the boxing fans, purists. Um, I don't really know why, but I don't know if it's kind of where he acts, like people think he's too confident it's like fighters not be confident anymore like can they not be cocky anymore is this it's weird but it's like but if you want to see the real Devin Haney go and watch the MMA hour interview he did with Ariel Halwani came across really good in that saying how much he wants to be like a throwback fighter uh and I really think he means that I really think he wants to be a throwback fighter be like Hearns, Hagler you know the four kings you know so um so yeah uh I think it's most likely to happen in Saudi Arabia. Uh, but let me know in the comments below, who do you think would win that fight? Devin Haney versus Tank Davis, 2024, autumn, winter, Riyadh season. If there's another city season now, I don't know. But uh, who do you think would? Who do you think is going to win? What weight do you think it's going to be at? And also, where do you think it's going to be? Do you think they're going to stick in America or do you think they're going to go over to Saudi Arabia for that big, big fat check? Of Saudi, Arabia, of Saudi Arabian money uh, by His Excellency Turkey Ali Sheikh. Uh, also, I forgot to say one more thing. He did say, Devin Haney, on the broadcast, that his next fight, on the AJ Wallen broadcast, his next fight will be in Saudi Arabia. So it looks like towards that way. I know Haney's rumoured to be fine Garcia next. I don't know, but yeah, we'll see. And anyway, make sure to like, like uh, subscribe. We're just nearing 50 subscribers. So let's try and get to 50 subs. And I'm uh, trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year. That's my target because I want to actually earn some money. Uh, so yeah, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one.